All right. So in this problem, we're given the description of a small sugar cube. Uh, and I kind of drew a little cube here. And the sugar cube, as the problem tells us, has an edge length of one centimeter. And I represented that right here with a little uh, number line. Now, uh, we are told that we have a much larger cube, a box that contains one mole of these little sugar cubes. And what the problem asks us to find is the edge length of that larger box. So if you're not sure, if you don't know what a mole is, a mole is a number that represents 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power of something, that are in, Avogad in, Avogadro's, in Avogadro's constant number of a quantity, no matter what that is. In this case, we're looking for a mole of sugar cubes in a box. So first, let's try finding out what the volume of that larger box is going to be. So to make our calculations a little easier, let's define some new variables that the question does not give us. So here, I've said that let's let v be equal the volume of the cubicle box, the large box that we're putting the sugar cubes into, and let's let vs equal the volume of one sugar cube. Uh, something that we are almost given. So let's try finding the volume of the box. So let's uh, solve for a little formula here. So we know that the volume of the box is going to be something that you can fit in Avogadro's number of the sugar cubes into. So it's going to be equal to Avogadro's number times the full volume of the box. So let's say that VB then is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times VS. Yeah, that's a, that's a good start. And uh, now let's want to sub in what VS is. Now we are not given the volume of the sugar cube. We are given the edge length though. And honestly, that is all we are going to need if we want to look for the volume of the sugar cube. Because since it is a cube, that meaning that all three of its dimensions are going to have the exact same length, uh, the, 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 uh, the volume of the cube is just going to be equal to the cube of this unit. It's just going to be one centimeter cubed. That's, that's why we call uh, three-dimensional unit, volume units uh, cubic units, because they represent that volume in three dimensions. So it's just going to be, so with the, with the case of a cube, where all the dimensions are the same length, it's just going to be the cube of this. And because it is a one, the number actually does not change. change. So let's sub that in. So it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times the volume of the, of the sugar cube. So let's call that one cubic centimeter. And doing this, we'll realize that actually we don't even need to do any calculation here, really, because any number times one is just that number. So we now know that the volume of the larger cubicle box that we're fitting these sugar cubes into is just going to be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power of cubic centimeters. And that is our volume of the larger box. So now we are almost there. Now we have the volume of the box, but the problem asks us to find what the edge length of that box will be. So let's think back to the same logic that we used to find the volume of the sugar cube. If by the definition of a cube, it's just going to be equal to the cube of one of the edge lengths, which is how we figured out the volume of the sugar cube, because remember, we took the edge length of the sugar cube, one centimeter, and cubed it to get the full volume of the entire cube. We can use that volume, we can use that method in reverse to find the edge length from the volume. We can take the cube root of the volume of a cube to get the length of one edge length. So, in other words, if we say that VB, the volume of the cube, is equal to, uh, let's call it L squared, Let's call it L, the length of the edge length of one side of the cube. 
So let's say, so if we say that VB, the volume of the cube, is equal to the edge length squared, so VB equals L squared, then using some reverse algebra here, we know that that means one edge length is going to be equal to the cubed root of VB, the, or the cube root of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd cubic centimeters. So let's uh, plug in that value. So that means the edge length is going to be equal to the cubic root here of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power of cubic centimeters. Let's, let's complete this little square root here. And if you were to plug this into your calculator, then this is going to be equal to, I'm going to round to a single significant figure here because of the measurements we're given, because of how much we're really approximating here. This is going to be about equal to 8 times 10 to the power of 7 centimeters. Um, oddly enough, the answer key at the back of the book wants us to give this in kilometers. The problem doesn't actually specify this, but that's whatever. It's a pretty simple conversion, though. It's just going to be a basic centimeters to meters to kilometers uh, conversion. So setting up a qu very quick chain link conversion. Let's say add a conversion to meters from centimeters. And follow that up with a conversion from meters into kilometers. So... That is a thousand uh, meters in a kilometer. So let's put the meters in the denominator so the meters cancel out. And this whole thing, our, act our fa actual final answer then, is about equal to 8 times 10 to the power of 2 kilometers. And that is going to be the edge length of the box.